What's up, Fragrant family? This is Tyler Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you another tag video. That's right, I've been tagged yet again. These tag videos are just popping off, and I absolutely love it. I do apologize; it's been a couple days, uh, in the, you know, since I've been tagged, and I'm just now getting to it. But uh, my wife, she just had surgery uh, on her knee, and we, that was on Wednesday. We had to go up to St. Louis, which is like a three to three and a half hour drive from where we're at. We had to go up there the night before. Then we stayed. She had the surgery, and it's just been kind of a mess. But I am getting to it finally, and I'm super excited to give this to you guys. So I was tagged by two people on the same video. So uh, Bro Sense, he tagged me, and then Mass Man actually tagged me as well. So definitely had to get on this. And so really excited about this. This is um, a tag video of your top fragrances that you would take with you on a vacation. So, um, you know, I know that Bro Sense, he chose Naples, you know, for his... Um, his vacation so that kind of inspired me to choose a certain location and destination um, and so what I've chosen is the beautiful beautiful Japan and Japan has been just a, a place that I've always wanted to visit it's always been on my bucket list it's a place that I absolutely just I'm infatuated with their culture how respectful and peaceful and just genuine the people are I love the the food I mean everything about it I mean I know it sounds weird you know just living right in the middle of America. And, you know, I'm a huge sushi lover. I love ramen. I love all types of different um, oriental type foods. And man, Japan has just been on my heart ever since I was a young kid. I'm a huge anime nerd and, you know, just, I love the culture. So, you know what, I was like, you know what, this has definitely got to be the place where I go on vacation. Uh, I got to go see all of it if I can. So um, that's where I've chosen to go to. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. That really does help me out. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and give it a thumbs down if you didn't. I want honest feedback. I'm going to give honest reviews, so I expect honest criticism. So let's go ahead and start off with the tags real quick just to get that kind of out of the way. Um, you know, John Morrell, man, you're, you know, you're going to be tagged. So, uh, John Morrell, you are tagged. I want to know what fragrances you would take with you on vacation. You don't necessarily have to pick a certain destination. I just did because I thought it would be fun. And then, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tag Steven at Red Lessons. Um, I've been talking with him and he actually has given me you know permission you know to tag him you know in a video if it, you know I ever so choose to so uh, man Steve I'm gonna tag you thank you so much man uh, you know just in a little conversation we had you're just super humble and super genuine so wanted to include you in this I want to know what fragrances you would take with you on a vacation so um, let's go ahead and uh, get into this um, so the first one on the list it's not necessarily in order sorry my dog's tails are wagging um, these aren't necessarily in order these are just 10 fragrances that I would love to take with me on vacation so uh, let's go ahead and get this busted out First one on the list, this one I had to include with me just because this is a very versatile fragrance. Um, it's really all season, all year round, kind of anytime, anywhere. I mean, there's not really a wrong time to wear it. There's not really a bad place to wear it. This stuff, it has one of my favorite notes. It's ginger, it's kind of fresh, it's kind of powdery. And this is just an awesome all year round type fragrance. And this is La Nuit. This is not La Nuit, this is Loam by Yves Saint Laurent. Sorry, uh, almost said La Nuit de Loam. But this is just the regular Loam. This is what started it and man, it is so flipping good. Like I said, there's a ginger note in here. It's a little fresh, a little spicy, kind of got a little bit of a citrus vibe to it, but that ginger is the real star uh, in this fragrance. And honestly, this is a must have in anyone's collection. I had to include this on the trip with me. So definitely going to Japan with me is Loam by Yves Saint Laurent. Now next on the list, I wanted to include kind of an oriental type fragrance, just, you know, this inspiration for the trip itself. And I only had one, which sounds weird, but um, this is an oriental woody type fragrance. It does open up with some citrus and vanilla and it dries down to a nice woody, vanillic oriental type uh, fragrance. And it is none other than Mandarina Duck Black. And what's really cool about this, man, it's kind of a hidden gem. You don't see too much talk about it. Although here recently, especially in the different fragrance uh, pages that I'm a part of, this has kind of been getting some love. People are starting to talk about it and starting to kind of hype it up. Um, so, I mean, definitely safe, blind by worthy, in my opinion. Um, it, like I said, opens up with a beautiful citrusy orange uh, blossom, some tangerine, and get this beautiful woody vanilla 
just dry down and it is absolutely to die for. You can honestly get this for super cheap. This is like, I think 25, 30 bucks, something like that off Amazon, FragranceX, uh, Fragrance.net, places like that. So go ahead and pick up a bottle. This is definitely gotta go with me on vacation. Mandarina Duck Black. All right guys, next on the list, I had to include a part of me in this video. Like there's just, uh, I had to include part of myself and who I am and who I am. Y'all know me, especially if you've been part of the channel for any decent amount of time. You know that I love the gentleman, uh, Fougere barbershop type fragrances. And this one, it just happens to probably be in my top three of all time. I love the apple that is in here. It's still got that gentleman type quality, but it definitely has a modern twist to it. And I chose this one because I happen to like it just a tiny bit better than the uh, signature pour home. This had to be Zaharoff signature Royale. And man, this apple note in here is absolutely to die for. I flipping love this stuff. This had to come with me on my vacay. I had to include part of who I was. And man, this stuff, it's definitely, it screams me. I, I, I love the gentleman type fragrances. And this is, this is a masterpiece. So Zaharoff Signature Royale definitely had to make the list. All right, guys, next on the list, this one, man, I actually wore this. This was my scent of the day yesterday, and I got so many compliments on it. And it's just a, man, it's just a, amazing fragrance this actually kind of took the fragrance community by storm there was nothing really that smelled like this before and since then it spawned excuse me countless flanker not flankers countless spinoffs and interpretations and you know inspirations and man this stuff baccarat rouge 540 man this stuff is so amazing it's got this jasmine note in there it's woody it's like sweet it's got this burnt cotton candy burnt sugar type vibe to it man it's a masterpiece this stuff projects like a beast i got so many compliments like i said and this man this had to go with me i could imagine being in the mountains of japan uh mount fuji and you know just climbing that and i think it's like 14,000, 13,000, somewhere feet, you know, you're climbing that, you got the, the trees around you, the Japanese cherry blossoms, and this just kind of filling the air. Man, this stuff had to come with me. So, none other than Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, guys, next on the list, this one had to be included. This is signature scent worthy, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if I'll ever have a signature scent, but if I ever do, this will definitely be in the ranks, and this is Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. 9. I love the green grass opening with that blueberry citrus note in there with that vanilla woody dry down man this in my opinion this is the best from the house i love this stuff um i also like chez it's kind of like a green irish tweed vibe but i don't know i like it a little bit better than green irish tweed but man this stuff is just absolutely amazing if you haven't smelled this get your nose on it it is kind of polarizing it's you know in the fragrance community either love it or you hate it i absolutely ha happen to love it and this stuff is great for like just spring and fall and it just good moods and good vibes man bond number nine and bleaker street definitely definitely has to go all right guys next on the list i chose it specifically because of the bamboo note in here and this happens to be my all-time favorite from this house Sadly, it has been discontinued. It's still readily available. Get your bottle while you can, while it's still cheap. This stuff comes from the house of Mont Blanc, and anyone who's been on my channel for long enough knows that my favorite from that house is Mont Blanc Starwalker. Man, it's super light, aromatic, crisp, fresh, citrusy, and that bamboo note. Oh my gosh, man, this stuff is just fantastic. I don't know why they would discontinue this. It's super versatile. Anytime, anywhere, any occasion, like this stuff is a masterpiece. In my opinion, you know, it does suffer from, you know, performance issues. It doesn't really project very well. It doesn't last very long, but I spray like 12, 13 sprays when I get this because it's not going to offend anybody. You're going to get a good amount of projection off it for at least the first three to four hours when you spray that heavy. And after that, it does sit kind of close to the skin, even though you've sprayed it that heavy. So, I mean, it's just good stuff. Love this stuff. So, Mont Blanc Starwalker definitely had to come with. Uh, guys, next on the list, this one, it just makes me think of vacation. Whether you're going to the beach, whether you're going to really anyway, it just screams royalty. I love this. I love the melon in here. I love the, the watermelon salted caramel type vibe from it. And this stuff, man, it's a beast. I love it. This is Melissa Imperial from Creed. And man, 
Oh, it's so flipping good. This melon in here is just, oh, love it so much. I'm so glad I finally got this in my collection. This is a 15X01 vintage batch. So it does, you know, perform a little bit better than the newer versions. And it does, you know, have a longer lasting uh, projection than the newer batches. But man, this stuff is still, in my opinion, worth the money. And this had to go with me. And just like I said, it makes me think of royalty. It makes me think of vacation. It makes me think of just relaxing. And this stuff definitely had to go with me. Creed Millisum Imperial. All right, guys, down to our last three. Like I said, no particular order. Um, and this one, man, this had to go with me. This is just a staple for just spring and summer. And, you know, I kind of picture myself going to Japan, you know, in the springtime. So I had to include this, you know, in here. This is, in my opinion, a quintessential spring must have. And this is Versace Old Man Fresh or Mano Fresh, however you want to say it. But this stuff, oh, man, it's so light, crisp. Uh, just almost aquatic like but the star fruit in here is what's the real you know no pun intended star of this fragrance and I absolutely love this stuff this one you know you guys know the backstory behind it um, this is you know my first like big boy fragrance that I ever purchased with my own money you know it was just one of the fragrances it was the fragrance that I wore when I first moved out got my first car got my first job so this has a lot of sentimental value to me and man I had to include this in here I love this especially for the spring and summertime which is you know more or less probably when I would be going um to Japan and uh this man had to make the list <sighs> love this stuff Versace Old Man Fresh Mano Fresh however you want to say it all right guys get down to the last two like I said no particular order next on the list this one Man, this has become my baby. Like, I love this stuff. Like, I don't know why I ever sold it. I don't know why I didn't like it at first. I guess maybe I just didn't understand the quality, the freshness. I don't know, but lately this stuff has just been rocking my world. And this is Amouage Reflection, man. This stuff, just a powdery, neroli, citrusy masterpiece. I love this stuff. I wore this, uh, was actually it was Tuesday. I wore this on Tuesday. Uh, going up to St. Louis and the, it was so nice outside. It was like 65 degrees somewhere in there It was just the perfect spring day and this was just dancing off my skin. I absolutely love this stuff I got some compliments on it. My wife she doesn't necessarily like it, but she said it didn't smell bad. So I'll take it <laughs> Man, I'm watch reflection man. This stuff just does it for me had to bring this, you know This 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 had to come I'm watch reflection man. All right guys and then last but not least, I had to include this just because I love, I love this fragrance. I, you know, it's it's something that I inspired to get and I finally got it. And it made me just feel, made me feel like the man. Um, I love, love the note of pineapple. I love the smokiness about it. So you probably already guessed what it is. I had to bring Creed, man. Creed Aventus, this stuff. Ugh. Smoky pineapple, what can I say? Oh, man, this stuff, it just, it really does it for me. I love this stuff. It, this is a 19P01 batch, and this is an absolute masterpiece, in my opinion. Um, it opens up super fresh, super pineapple, just juicy pineapple dripping straight from your mouth, and then it cools down in the dry down, and it does have a little bit of a smoky uh, vibe to it. This is, you know, a really fruity opening batch, but in the dry down, I think it does have a bit of a smoke to it. That's just my own opinion, so... Anyways, but Creed Aventus definitely had to come. So, man, that is my list. Those are my fragrances that I would bring with me to Japan. Uh, comment down below if you like these. If you didn't like them, what would you bring? What would you wear? Uh, and like I said, I'm going to tag two people. John Morrell, you are tagged. And then Steve from Rare Lessons, you guys are tagged. Man, I want to know what fragrances you guys would wear. What would you bring? And where would you go? Um, you don't necessarily have to pick a certain location, but... Just to make it a little more interesting if you wanted to, where would you guys go? So, all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, if you love it, wear it.